Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go into part three of my iGel Beauty uh, Dip and Dab Acrylic and Dip System. I'm going to be swatching um, the last couple of colors. It's a little over 40 colors. And as always, I'm using my Valentino Beauty Pure Monomer and my Alpha Brush to swatch these with. I recently picked these up. Um, I did feature them in my $1,000 plus nail supply haul that I just recently uploaded. So I'll link it in the description box if you haven't seen that yet. I got a whole bunch of nail goodies. Um, and I also picked up the holographic collection, acrylic collection from iGel Beauty. But I made a video uh, for them separate so they have a video of their own. And I'll also link that down below. So I'm just going to go go ahead oh excuse me i'm burping and everything i'm gonna go ahead and get into these swatches for you guys i got the box sitting right here beside me and we're just gonna do it the same old way like my other two videos and we're gonna get into swatching hopefully this video won't be too long i'm just gonna pull randomly Winter white. Looks like this plain white. This winter white, I do believe it's like the milky white. Yeah, it's like the milky, the milky white. The popular milky soft white everybody is into that they do. Um, you do like milk bath nails with. Jester. It's like a fine gold. I like for that to be in frame so you guys can see me as I'm picking it up. It's like goldish, but grayish, brownish, <laughs> a lot of ish. <laughs> Pretty color though. This time around when I done my haul, I wanted to make sure I picked up um, good like fall colors. A lot of nude-ish, um, blush, pink, um, dark reds, brown. Of course, I got pops of color in here as well, but I just wanted to make sure I um, stayed like more on a neutral side, softer, not too bright. Runway hit. I was thinking about doing this video like I done my holographic video. Um, just swatching them showing you and swatching them without talking but I just wanted to talk through the video keep like keep it the same tradition as my other two part one and two I hope everybody's doing okay Caribbean Sea I've been doing all right just trying to stay safe we're required to wear masks here everywhere. Like all the public places, we have to wear masks before we go in. Everything is just so different now. It's, it's, it's not normal. It, <laughs> it has me stuttering. It's, it's not normal. Purple Valentine. Hopefully things will get better soon. It's 
So I'm just chilling today and doing this swatch video for you guys so you can see some colors. I like these swatch videos because if you're looking at the at the company you don't know which color to get these swatch videos really help you decide on what you want if you can see the color close up and you can say oh ooh, i want that one and write it down because i know that's what i did like i complete um completely sat down watched like five six videos in a row and by the time i ended the sixth video i had a good list of things that i wanted and that's where all my swatch videos come from it's just me buying all the colors i wrote down that i wanted so now um i took out a pretty big chunk in my list and i believe i only have like four or five more colors I want and the only reason why I didn't get them is because they were sold out at the time I went to purchase and I didn't say this shit this is shimmering snow A nice pretty shimmer I'll try not to make this video too long because the last time I swatched over 40 colors the video was like almost an hour long so I'm trying to put some pep in my step this time choco pie and this is one of the browns I was saying nice beautiful fall color it has like red shimmer in it. It's so pretty. It does. It literally looks like chocolate on your brush. And same old, same old. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Nothing is sticking to my brush. Always a good sign. Very berry. This is a shimmer as well. It's a shimmer, but you can you can barely see any shimmer in it. Like I can't tell. I don't know, I don't know if you guys can pick up any. Maybe when I pick it up on the brush. No, it doesn't look like it's any shimmer in there to me. Hold on, wait. I might be tripping. Let me flip this baby over. Oh, yeah, it says shimmer. I don't see any shimmer. Lucky line. Lucky, lucky. And this is the glitter. Ooh, this is really pretty. Now, when you say shimmer, this is this is what I think when you say shimmer. Maybe they forgot to put the shimmer in that batch. Maybe I just got a bad batch of very berry and they forgot to put the shimmer. Ooh, that's gorgeous. I do a full set with just that. So anyway, if you haven't watched my other video I was talking about a while ago, my haul video, I was saying that I had two red iguana practice hands on the way and they finally came. So that's another video I have to do. Doll face. This is another glitter. They are so realistic in real life. It's scary. And I think the scary part about it is the weight because they're, it has like weight to it. So if you really wanted to trip someone out, you could. Like just slather a bunch of fake blood on the end of it. Looks like you chopped somebody's hand off. It's that real looking. 
definitely worth the investment. And the reason why I got it is because when I do nails, like I'm building up my clientele. But when I do nails, I like to do long nails because... My background is I went to cosmetology school. I like anything art. I like anything dealing with any type of art. Um, I used to draw when I was younger while I was in school. And I just want to get, this is sparkling kiwi. I just want to get back to my roots, like back to who I am. And I feel like I can't do that with short nails I, I really can't oh this is pretty it has um holographic glitter in it so i got the red iguana hands to actually showcase what i can do you know i do i do nails and i you know i post a couple of pictures on my instagram if you don't follow me follow me at black sheep nails 19 on Instagram, but I showcase them, but I want to do more. I want to do more. And another thing I want to talk about, 150 chrome on. Another thing I want to talk about is when you get into nails, right? and you start doing nails you're already you're already doing research i'm kind of going to call it research because all in all basically that's what it is you're already looking at the styles you're already seeing what's trending and what's popular and you're already like buying stuff so you can create this right so when you finally um get a client or get someone that says, hey, can you do my nails? You're, you're really excited, right? So you have all these ideas pumping in your head about what you want to put on their nails or what would be fun to do. And then you get, they get there, they get to you, and they say, well, I want this. And they pull out a picture of something. Yes, it might be pretty, but you want to, you want to showcase what you can do. You want to put out art that you're happy about and that you enjoy doing. And that's the dilemma when you get into nails. Now me, on top of that, I stay in a small town. So it's only so much people are gonna let me do to their nails. So to combat all of that, I just got the hands because to be honest, it's really discouraging when you get your hopes up and you want to you wanna do so much and, and basically you can't because you have people constantly sending you pictures of other people's work that they want you to copy pretty much. But what, what if I don't want to copy? What if what I can do with my own imagination, what if I can do a viral set? What if I can make something that's just as pretty as you're showing me that you have seen on, on Instagram? What if I can do that too? And you never get the chance to, night sky. Because people are constantly, and, and I don't know how to word it because I don't want to, I don't know how to word it, but I don't feel like I'm wording it right. And maybe somebody um, out there will understand what I'm saying. It's like, I want to do what I want to do. And I'm not saying that in the rude way. It's just, I want to, I want to express my art in my way. I don't want to copy all the time because I want to make a career out of this. And how can I make a career out of this if I'm forever copying other people's art? Let me do something that somebody else wants to copy. 
jam session. It's a glitter. So, yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like I just done a, a whole lot of rambling. But maybe somebody out there will understand what I'm saying. Oh, no. It's just like when you're in school and you're in the group. The teacher makes you work together and you're in a group of four. And all of you guys got your own own thing that you want to do. But you just feel like you know like your idea is good and you really want to do it. You know that feeling that you get like, dang, I really, I really want to do this. And I don't feel like my other group members are really taking my idea seriously. But I know that my idea is dope. Lady Rose. Something like that. So, yeah. That's why I got the hands. That's gorgeous. It dried up fast. Dried up really fast, too. That just slid right off my brush. Which can be a good thing. You know? Depending. Honey bunches. Oh, that has holographic glitters in it too. And it has maybe small gold shimmers. So if you're out there and you're trying to build up your clientele and you're not really doing the kind of artwork that you want to do, you know, you work so hard to get your, your prep down and making sure that you're, you're doing everything right so the nails can last. But once you go over that hump, it's like, okay, now I want to spread my wings a little bit. Now I want to attempt to do the, the viral YouTube sets that, you know, get 15, 24,000 um, views. Now I want to... Um, do the viral sets that you know get shared multiple times on Instagram. Now I'm ready to be, you know, reposted by companies for using their products. You know, now I'm ready to be seen because I, you know, I worked hard and I, I got it down. I know if someone comes to me and asks me to do their nails, I know they won't, you know, pop off. I know they look good when I, when I do do nails. So now it's time to me exp um it's time for me to express myself through my work. So if someone sees a picture of my work, they know it's mine. Blue mosaic. I hope I'm not boring y'all. Hope I'm not talking too much you know it'll be that but you talk entirely too much just shut up and swatch the acrylic shut up and show me the colors mute me <laughs> mute me and, and double the speed on the video toxic pink that way you ain't got to listen i mean you can see the colors without listening to me I did gain a couple of new subscribers and I appreciate every single one of y'all. Y'all have no idea. I'm just sitting here and the notification will pop up on my phone. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got another subscriber. <laughs> so yeah, beauty mark. nice neutral tone like I said I tried to get you know like fall fall colors neutral tone
little princess. Now this color for sure, for sure I watched someone else's swatch video and seen her swatch it. And I was like, okay, yes, I'm getting it. Because this color wasn't even on my list at all. I'm putting it way over here. Yeah. It's pinky with like a purplish undertone. Nice. Nice princess color. Brown sugar. I want some of your brown sugar. What y'all know about that? I'm using this blue paper towel. You know, um, I usually use the white so I can show you guys how um, how awesome these powders are, Alluring Amethyst. You know, you watch other people swatch videos and the paper towel would be so messy. It's like, what kind of monomer are you using? Are you even getting any acrylic in the actual swatch? Because it looks like you're wiping it all off on the paper towel. Magic Mint. They mix that sparkling um, kiwi really good. This is how bubble gum was supposed to be mixed, but they overloaded the holographic and bubble gum. Anybody who has bubble gum knows exactly what I'm talking about. Wanderlust, a wanderlust. Oh, okay. So this looked like it has like copperish, bronzy, and purple shimmers in it. That's an awesome color. Different, unique. seaweed I did see another one that I wanted to add to my list now that I've um I picked up the the swatch ring lit little I don't even have it oh yes I do I picked up this and then any one that I have I just like marked it with a marker and so now with me having all of these in my hand which is a problem <laughs> I put my own self in a hole I want this uh, emerald green. I know it's upside down for you, but I want this emerald. I think, what's that? DD 125. I have this idea of doing a secret garden set. So, I need that green. 
or I just might attempt it without it, but I really feel like I need that green. Because I have the um, I belief in you, but I want something, you know, a tad bit darker. This plumful, this is that, this and this, between these two, that's the viral color that goes, that gets popular every, every year around fall time. Those dark plummy purple colors. Glistening. see where we didn't hit 26 minutes so hopefully I can make this video under 40 minutes warm chinchilla let's see how fast I can move nice grayish purple Let's see, honeydew. And you know, like every other video, I have these listed down below in the description. Not sure if I said that already. That's a nice color. Looks just like a honeydew. La Rosa, La Rosa. Oh, good grief. Okay, all right. You was dying to escape, weren't you? You know, things happen as soon as you say, well, let me hurry up and not make the video too long. As soon as you say that, it's like, mess up. Go everywhere. Don't screw your lid back on. Everything just fighting against you. Lunar eclipse. Gray. Make sure I stay in frame now. Witching hour. I don't know why I thought this one would have holographic um, glitters in it. It has a nice like silver shimmer in it, but I thought I was getting the one with holographic shimmers. Do you guys know if they have? I have the swatch thing right here in my face and I'll look. <laughs> Let me see. Bellissimo Blue. I don't know if you guys can see my swatch swatching all of this, even that that black look is still it hasn't changed colors or anything. Now I did just recently um switch my monomer. I um picked up a big thing of JC Beauty Concepts. So we're going to see how that does with 
with this. Um, I do know that JC Beauty Concepts is compared to Valentino, same quality. So that's why I went ahead and switched. I can get bigger amounts of things for not that much money. Wicked love. And it's just like, if you look at Valentino, it's the monomer is really expensive. And you, the biggest um, amount you can get is like an eight ounce. So if I'm ordering an eight ounce, it's taking me, it takes 40 whole dollars. Oh, that's, that's gorgeous. It takes 40 whole dollars just to get an eight ounce of monomer to me. So the monomer is like 30 something. $30 and then $10 for the shipping. That's too much money for just eight ounces. Twinkle Violet. It does twinkle. I give it that. Italian rose, another shimmer. Temperance. Grief. It just goes everywhere, huh? Maybe it's telling me to slow down. <laughs> That's not too different from, let me put it down. It's not too different from this one, but this is, this one is more brownish. And this one is purple. Like a plum with shimmer. <laughs> hmm. I'm, I'm blowing all in. I'm all over the place today. Don't mind me, guys. Don't mind me. Like I said, if you don't like my rant or me talking, just you can mute me. Did I even show the name of this? Legally Blonde. Old Terracotta. Let me sit it down and then peel it off <laughs> so it won't fly everywhere this time. Smooth shimmer. I'm going to attempt to record another video today, Kimono Violet. Not 
sure. It is the weekend. Do I want to be a couch potato or do I want to be productive? Mm. Question of the day. Should I binge watch Netflix or should I not? Glittering stream. Ooh. Hollow makes me happy. You see, and that's another one. They mixed that one. Awesome. This and seaweed. This is what bubblegum was supposed to be like. Oh, I wish they remixed bubblegum. I hope they're fixing that issue and not just leaving it as this is recommended for dip because it's such a pretty color and I don't do dip. Lady Luck. Red with gold shimmer in it. Why are we down to our last two? So this video will be shorter than 40 minutes. See? Twilight X. And I do appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you watch the whole video, leave and let's see. Leave a poop emoji if you made it to the end of the video. Leave me a nice thumbs up. This might be the one that I was thinking the other one was supposed to, This is exactly the color I was talking about. This is nice. I love this. Like a black with a different, the different color glitters. Last one, the palace. Like I said, I appreciate you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share if you're if you belong to any nail groups on Facebook because I'm not on Facebook at the moment. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers so I can go ahead and do my first giveaway. But other than that, that is all of the colors. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me give you a close up like I always do. Okay. And then slowly show you everything so you can see them close up. Kind of move it around so you can see the hollow. But they're pretty awesome. I'm satisfied with what I picked up today. Thank you again. I didn't thank you like 15,000 times already. But thank you for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day.